Where'd they find this guy? Greetings, Eye of the War Al greets you. This last Counter-Strike Major was full of upsets, firsts, defeats, and victories, as SK Gaming reaffirmed their place as the best Counter-Strike team in the world. The once dominant Swedes got their comeuppance as the ninjas in pajamas surprisingly got sent home by Flipside, and Fnatic was defeated 2-0 by Team Liquid. What up now, Swedes? Woo! This was the major where the Western European dominance of Counter-Strike finally came to an end, as there were no European teams even competing in the finals. I guess we'll have to change some of the Counter-Strike terminology going forward. This will henceforth be known as an EU play. Holy crap, it looks like Zarya's popping her alt. I've been playing way too much Overwatch. Seriously though, while there is a great deal of Mimi bias against North American teams, Team Liquid proved that their last showing wasn't just a fluke. Team Liquid continues to improve, and it really shows in their gameplay. Some folks have tried to say that it was simple, the rowdy Ukrainian offer, that Liquid owes its success. But I disagree with that assertion. Every one of Liquid's players had their moments during this major, and their plays showed a clear improvement in strategy. One thing that I did notice, especially in the finals, was that Liquid's tendency to pistol buy both saves instead of armor pistol one and full save another was exploited by SK, who at one point purchased four submachine guns to perfectly counter it. If Liquid starts to play too predictably, now that they've proved themselves a major threat, smart teams like SK Gaming will be able to counter strat them very hard. Now I'm not a counter strike analyzer or nothing like that. Remember, I'm just some guy in my room sitting here talking into a microphone to you guys. Maybe Team Liquid should look a little bit at SK Gaming and how SK Gaming strategies are sort of specific to the battles that they're waging. Maybe get some, some inspiration from these guys. Another major strength that they're going to be losing is their powerful double op setups. With Simple leaving the team just serving as a stand-in, we'll have to see at the next major if they're going to be able to do these strong plays with Pimp taking the secondary opera role. One thing about Simple's playstyle, he's a loose cannon. He makes red ridiculous plays, but that's because he seemingly goes for every single possible shot. I don't think Liquid is done just because Simple's not there anymore. I think they're gonna continue to improve. They just finished second place in a major. Big future for them. They are the number one North American team. They've gone farther than any other North American team ever has. Team Liquid is Team America. Now it's kind of weird to watch a major and not see Cloud9. Cloud9 for a long time had been the top American team after the iBuy Power guys got banned. I haven't been really paying attention to the scene very much since the last major. What happened? Cloud9 has a lot of fans, and as an organization, they really have what it takes to bring together a great group of guys and make something happen. From what people have told me, it's just that their players aren't playing well lately. Which is strange. Come on, guys, get your act together. SK Gaming is clearly the best team in the world. Early on, their innovative strategies were evident. This is before they were like, woo, -hoo, look at me. These guys are very smart. They have a firm grasp on the game. Coldzera has grown into the best player in the world, and Fallen is able to go Super Saiyan mode and make round changing chains of op kills. I think if you see Fallen get an op kill, don't try to trade, just run. Just be like, okay, Fallen, you have that part of the map. That's your place now. I don't know where to begin with fur. This guy excels at close range spray weapons like the MP9 and the Tech 9. Something about nines. I don't know if there's ever been a player like him before. That's such a weird thing to be good at. What's interesting is that early on in CSGO, many detractors, which is basically everybody except for me, claim that the game didn't allow for player personalities to shine through in gameplay, pointing to Neo and Forrest and their transition to the game as examples. I think now the game has matured enough that this just plain isn't the case. Counter-Strike will continue to be a great eSport, even with the drastically declining viewer base and interest. What? What's that? You didn't hear the news? This major had about half the number of max concurrent viewers during the finals. About 1.6 million for MLG, and only about 850,000 for ESL1 Cologne. They even got smashed by last year's numbers, which were something like 1.2 million. That is a huge decrease in viewership for something that you would expect to get better and better and higher and higher. I'm getting StarCraft II flashbacks.
There are a lot of factors that may have contributed to this. Time zones meant viewers from the Americas had to get up earlier, and both the teams in the Grand Finals were from the Americas. Summer Games Done Quick was going on throughout the Major, though not during the Final. I mean, there had to be some crossover there, considering every time one of these guys did a glitch, VAC was spammed in the chat. Overwatch launched, which has taken a large number of casual players away from the game, probably viewers as well. And then there's the poorly timed ongoing gambling scandal, which more than likely soured people's interest in the game, as well as skin speculators and gamblers themselves wondering if the industry was not going to be there. I think the real reason that not as many people watch the major is that I didn't do my hype video about it. That's a joke. If you felt emasculated by my irreverent display of masculine confidence, here's the address where you can send your hate emails, you lousy cretins. Hey guys, I found the perfect counter to SK Gaming's playstyle. It involves a petition. For those unaware, the Brazilian team, formerly known as Luminosity, now known as SK Gaming, has been kicked out of E-League because of the org change. From what I've been told, the other team organizations signed a petition to remove them from the league. Now I hardly even watch this stuff anymore, but this has got my jimmies all rustled. In esports, the sponsor doesn't make up the team, the players make up the team. This is absolutely shameless and a huge insult to the best players at the game. Integrity is saying, I want to play against these guys because they are the best, and I want to challenge the best, not finding loopholes to bar them from competing. Who cares, it's the majors that matter the most in my eyes anyway, and SK reigns supreme, or global. Or whatever. I'm the War Al and I still have no closer. Seriously though, why aren't people watching Counter-Strike anymore? Let me know in the comments section of this video what you think about what's going on. It's probably a combination of all those things I listed though.